Finally, the first moon was over. They felt relieved and relaxed. Everything had gone quite well. Blizzard's first strike scrapes had healed over time, and a kitty pet brought their kit Dusk to the clan, saying that they could no longer take care of them. Dusk was a, a small, young, four moon old, old female. While she may have been untrained, she was very polite and quick to help. Today, she was looking around the camp in wonder, wondering everything that was going on. Everything during the moon, during that moon, Fennel Stripe had let Stone Kit share their troubles with them, hoping that they would feel better afterwards. And it was good because Stone Kit admitted how much she thought that Fidget Shade didn't like her, and everyone decided to talk about it. On the other hand, Fidget Shay was talking badly about Fennel Stripe, and Fennel Stripe heard. It made Fennel Stripe feel really upset, but she di didn't say anything. Pale Paw thought that Fidget Stripe wasn't too bad after all, after a long moment of debate. And Vixamon was surprised to hear that Blizzard Stripe expressed the idea that they actually agreed with. Vixen Mallow hissed at Faded Paw for something very small, which dampened Faded Paw's pride. On the other hand, Blazer Stripe offered Dust Kit some tips for building their nests. Vixen Mallow welcomed Dust Kit into the clam, and Fidget Shade offered Dust Kit some flowers as a gift. It said they could decorate their new nest, something he hadn't done for any of the other kits. With Steery Patch with staring tongues with Blizzard Stripe, which was good, it heightened the clan morale. Little Dust Kit, and of course we can't forget Stone Kit, were both sitting in the nursery. While both were having their own issues, they got through them quite well. Fennel Stripe was looking through the medicine den, seeing one daisy, ragroot, and two dandelions. He smiled. Even though they were small, it wasn't nearly enough for the clan, but it was good enough. All cats old enough to gather the tu all cats old enough to gather in the tunnels, come gather around for patrols. Everyone dashed up to Puddle Star. Her Vixen Ma all padding right behind her and sitting down. I want Vixen Malo and Shaded St and Faded Paw to go on a training patrol. Come back. I guess as soon as you're done so you can watch the other kids while I go out and the others are still out on patrol. As they left, Vixen Ma Alo takes them out to see a small herd of bison on the patrol that a patrol spotted moving through Flickan's territory not long earlier. Big Paw has their view blocked by the long grass and flat ground, but the rumble they feel in their paws and the footsteps that bellow so loudly they can be felt through the ground. It all stresses how huge the thunder beasts were. Paw, Bubble Star said, raising her voice in an almost squeaky way. Go with Fidget Shade out, also on a border patrol. Make sure to renew the scent marks, she meowed. The patrol quickly came across a small dog round the border of Flickan territory. Fidget Shade had asked Pale Paw if they wanted to proceed. If not, they could just go back to camp and report the problem. Pale Paw was excited and wanted to fight the beast, so she said, We can approach! It'll be okay!
As they went forward, the dog lunged forward, slashing its claws down Pale Paul's fur flanks. But all but with Fidget Shade right by her side, they were able to drive it off as quickly as possible. Pale Paul winced as they walked back to Kent with a torn, bleeding pelt. Fenostry. I had left without being told to by Puddle Star, knowing that he didn't have to wait for her. As Fennel Stripe padded through Fudkin territory, he could feel a strong presence with them with him. With a respectful nod, Fennel Stripe pauses and tucks their paws neatly together and six sits conversing with the beautiful Pine Star. Afterwards, he left and went and gathered a few quick raspberries. Puddle Star opened her, her jaw again and said, All right, now I'll be going on, on patrols of two. I will be going with Slate Stripe and Blizzard Stripe and Wisteria Posh can go after us. Wisteria Pack and grumbled and Blizzard Stripe just nodded respectfully. As the two cats went on patrol, they found an opening to what appeared to be another set of tunnels. Slate Stripe sniffed the entrance, pushing his head in. Puddle Star meowed, Be careful. Foxes often live in tunnels. Slate Stripe mewed. Should we proceed? Puddle Star nodded. It's good to see if there's something bad down there. The two padded forward and only proved to be a new entrance to the set of tunnels that Flood Clan already used. They knew it would be helpful in the future for escaping in dangerous territories. As the other patrols came back, Wisteria Patch and Blizzard Stripe padded off. Wisteria Patch and lifted her nose. Do you smell that? She asked Blizzard Stripe. Blizzard Stripe nodded. Fox, he said. They quickly spotted the red swift fox, but it spotted them coming fur. First, tucking its tail and fleeing into the horizon. An example of speed that shows where the small carnivore got its name. Of course. They both chuckled. Back at the camp, Fennel, Fennel Rip was examining the med den. It's not enough to care for the clan, he kept thinking, twitching his tail back and forth. I'll have to find something, he thought. Above ground, Fidget Shade saw two lakes wandering around and wondered if he should go and mess with them. But he stayed back knowing that it'd be better not to. And soon the moon came to a to a close. This as they started their second moon, it was clear. As for health issues, it seemed that everyone was either healing or getting hurt. Pale Paw Pelt had recovered from being torn, but Blizzards right find themselves the victim of a Amusing prank got a sharp thorn in their paw and cursed. Fox dung, he growled. Fay Paw got a runny nose and Dusk Kit had a small stomach ache, probably from eating more clan more raw clan fruit than kibble that was given to them by kitty pets. As for what the most important things in the relationship category that happened that moon, Fano Rip was surprised to hear Wisteria Patch talk about something they agreed with, and they had a very positive conversation about the whole thing. 
and Fifth Faded Paw thought that Slight Stripe was being very annoying, but tried to hide as best they could. Pubble Star argued with Duskhead in front of other cats and told something in and said something she shouldn't have about Dust Kit, making them feel embarrassed. Sleet Stripe and Fen but and Fennel Rib did enjoy each other's company for a long moment. But Slate Stripe thought that Faded Paw found Faded Paw and started arguing with them in front of other cats, talking about embarrassing things with them. It made Faded Paw feel violated. Back at the camp, they look. Stone Kid and Dust Kit were going to become apprentices the next moon. All the cats knew that. Pale Paw and Faith was still going to be an apprenticeship and so was Faded Paw as they both tried to keep their heads on straight. Fennel Rip, on the other hand, was very much in good spirits, but was still worrying over the, over the medicine den. He quickly left camp without telling anyone and to go on an herb patrol. New Leaf bringing the new leaves to the black blackberry brambles, Final Stripe hit, headed out to collect some. As he attempted to pit, pick their way through the blackberry thorns to reach the leaves, it became very clear that it was a hopeless attempt that wouldn't get him anywhere. Pale Paw and Faded Paw decided to go training together without their mentors. Shivering with excitement, Pale Paw gestures Faded Paw over with their tail. They were going to sneak out of camp before anyone noticed them in the early dark. The sun peeking just over the horizon when the apprentices arrive on the rocky outcrop at the edge of Blood Clan territory, daringly venturing a couple steps beyond the border with wide eyes egging each other on. Pelpa found a little patch of sunshine with a and with a great ceremony offers it to Faded Paw, as they both settle down to wait. In the distance, a massive echoing and thunderous bark start to echo over the plain. The apprentices prickle with excitement, hearing the private wild performance. Puddle Star and Slate Stripe had it out to go training as well. As the patrol moved through the grass, just after sunset, the two moons rose high in the sky. One of the mo moons was ex was awfully close, and Stripes like gets strain gets caught in a strange wind that picks them up, clawing and scrambling wildly. He's sucked toward the frightening foreign moon as it takes away as it takes them away from the Flood Clan. Puddle Star! He yelled as Puddle Star ran, ran as quickly as possible, but as she jumped up to cat to grab onto the cat, she missed by only a mouse length, and Slate Stripe vanished into the moons. He was gone. Lost. Fix and Mala and Wisteria Patch were having much, much better thing was having much better better time. As they came to the outskirts of the territory, they came across a, a tall, motionless two-leg rear in the middle of the field. As they proceeded, the patrol decided to take no chances and sets up an ambush around the two-leg. They wait and wait, but the two-leg makes no movements to attack. Finally, the street patch notices that the two-leg isn't even a two-leg at all. They wasted all that time for nothing. Great going, fixing. Vixen Mallow, she mewed. Vixen Mallow shrugged but didn't say anything. Fidget stayed and Blizzard went out on a quick hunting patrol. As they split up to hunt, the patrol split up to hunt, but after a while, Blizzard Stripe was nowhere to be found. Fidget stayed. 
it ran round, I'm frantically looking for them. After making some good catches, Fidget Stay picked up on Bl Blizzard's scent, Whiskers twitching with mischief. But what will happen next?